Hey guys, this is Allie with iMore and Pixel Fix, and today we're going to look at how to replace the speaker housing slash assembly in an iPhone 4. Uh, you'll need to replace this if your speaker goes out, uh, or the antenna assembly is also on this piece, so this will also show you how to switch that out. Uh, keep in mind this is for a GSM iPhone 4. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is take out the SIM card, but first we'll point out what tools you're going to need for this. Uh, you're going to need a SIM removal tool or paper clip, either one will work. Uh, you're going to need a flathead screwdriver, I've just got a multi-tool here, uh, probably about that size. You need these for the logic board screws. Uh, they're kind of little unicorn screws, they actually have uh, cross heads on them, but a flathead will work to take them out. In the GSM model you only have one to worry about. Uh, double zero Phillips screwdriver. Uh, you'll need a security screwdriver if your phone is one of the newer ones with the five-point screws as opposed to standard Phillips screws. And a pry tool or spudger. Uh, I prefer these, but a plastic pry tool will work just as well. So first what we're going to do is we're going to remove the SIM card. And next we are going to remove the dot connector screws in the bottom. Uh, on this phone, they're standard Phillips, so I'm going to use my double zero. And of course you're going to want to power off your device before you perform any repair. And before we really get into a lot of screws, uh, you're going to want to find a way to organize screws that you're going to remember where they come in and go out from, considering uh, there's quite a few screws and they do have different head sizes, uh, different thread sizes, so it can uh, waste a lot of time if you don't remember where the screws go. Next, you're just going to want to pop off your back, uh, just slide it up, and it should pop right off. So next what we're going to want to do is remove the battery, use your double zero Phillips screwdriver, and there's one screw holding it right here on the GSM model. So I'm going to remove that screw. And set it aside. Next we're going to use our pry tool to pry off the clip holding down the battery, which is right here. And just gently take the end of your pry tool and lift off. And you have a little grounding clip underneath the battery clip right here uh, that you'll need to set aside for reassembly later. Uh, the easiest way I've found to pull these batteries out, don't use the pull tab, they either tear or you can bend the battery, which you don't want to do. There's no components along this side of the phone that you can really damage, so what I do is I stick a pry tool under here and gently pry up, and that seems to be a much better way to pull the battery out. So I'll set that aside, and here's the little grounding clip I was talking about. So you're going to want to set that aside with the battery. Next what we're going to do is we are going to uh, remove the shield that covers the cable for the dock connector. Uh, as a tip, I typically fold this over onto the adhesive so it stays out of the way. You don't have to, but I've just found that to be an easy way to do that. Uh, so we're going to remove these two screws right here. They are different sizes, so pay attention that you're keeping them in the correct order. And once you've got these two screws out, you're going to notice that the shield just comes right up. So there's the shield piece. We're going to set that aside with those two screws. Now we can pop up this cable right here. The easiest way to do this is with your pry tool and just pop it up from the side. Um, how you're going to want to remove this is you want to be careful because there is adhesive holding it down. This phone's been taken apart before. Your phone, if it's never been taken apart, you're going to have a bit more adhesive to pull up right here. So just be careful that you don't tear the cable while doing that. Next, what we're going to do is you've got uh, your antenna right here. And all you're going to do to release that is pry it up very gently and move it to the side. 
and this piece right here is your uh, speaker assembly and that's what we're going to get to but first we need to remove the logic board so you've got a couple <coughs> screws holding your logic board down um, up here you have a shield with one two three four five screws and we're going to pause to remove these five screws just make sure that you're setting them in the order that they go in Okay, now to get to the cables under the logic board, the five screws that you just removed, one, two, three, four, five, they're holding down this shield. Uh, if you can see right here, there's actually a little clip that's holding it in place. The easiest way to remove this is to just stick your pry tool underneath that clip and this shield will come loose. So this is the shield you're removing. I'm going to set that aside. And now we've got down to the components and the cables on the logic board. So we're going to need to unclip uh, six clips here. First is your camera. You can unclip that one. Next is your LCD and digitizer. Two, three, and then you've got three clips right here that come up the opposite way. So you're gonna, and these are sensors uh, and whatnot. So up this way, two, three. So now that we've got those three out, you can remove your camera by gently lifting upwards and it'll come right out. So you can set that aside. Now we've got a couple more screws holding down the logic board. Uh, pretty much three more. You've got one right here in this corner underneath the dot connector cable. Uh, you've got one right here, which is underneath the water sensor you'll need to remove. The easiest way i found to remove this is to either just use the tip of a small screwdriver uh, or a pry tool sometimes will work if you've got a pointed one. And then you've got one more screw up here holding it in, and that's the flathead screw that I was talking about. So we'll start with these two down here, and these are just double zero, so... Your double zero should work. I'm just going to move one, two, and then for the one up here, I'm going to switch to my flathead screwdriver and three. So uh, just as a note, these two screws are the same size as is the one over here in your dot connector corner. So uh, those three you can group together if that's easier for you, however you want to sort them. Uh, next what we're going to do is actually remove the logic board. Um, the first thing you want to do is make sure your cables are out of the way. Just bend them back gently a little bit. The easiest way to do this is to grab it from the bottom and gently lift upwards. I normally use the camera hole to uh, position my finger in the top. And the logic board should come out pretty easily. So, uh, as a side note, there's a little rubber piece that sits right up here on the logic board. It's loose. Uh, if this is not there when you reassemble it, your Wi Fi or your, well, probably just your Wi Fi. Uh, may not work, It's a gro it, it grounds it, so you're going to want to make sure you don't lose that little rubber piece. So then we set the logic board aside, and now we've gotten to our speaker assembly. Uh, we only have one more screw holding it down, so we're going to remove that. Okay, now to get to the cables under the logic board, the five screws that you just removed, one, two, three, four, five, they're holding down this shield. Uh, if you can see right here, there's actually a little clip that's holding it in place. The easiest way to remove this is to just stick your pry tool underneath that clip and this shield will come loose. So this is the shield you're removing. I'm going to set that aside. And now we've got down to the components and the cables on the logic board. So we're going to need to unclip uh, six clips here. First is your camera. You can Unclip that one. Next is your LCD and digitizer. Two, 
two, three, and then you've got three clips right here that come up the opposite way. So you're gonna, and these are sensors and whatnot. So up this way, two, three. So now that we've got those three out, you can remove your camera by gently lifting upwards and it'll come right out. So you can set that aside. Now we've got a couple more screws holding down the logic board. Uh, pretty much three more. You've got one right here in this corner underneath the dot connector cable. Uh, you've got one right here, which is underneath the water sensor you'll need to remove. The easiest way I found to remove this is to either just use the tip of a small screwdriver uh, or a pry tool sometimes will work if you've got a pointed one. And then you've got one more screw up here holding it in and that's the flathead screw that I was talking about. So we'll start with these two down here and these are just double zero so your double zero should work. Just gonna move one And then for the one up here, I'm going to switch to my flathead screwdriver and three. So uh, just as a note, these two screws are the same size as is the one over here in your dot connector corner. So. Uh, those three you can group together if that's easier for you, however you want to sort them. Uh, next what we're going to do is actually remove the logic board. Um, the first thing you want to do is make sure your cables are out of the way. Just bend them back gently a little bit. The easiest way to do this is to grab it from the bottom and gently lift upwards. I normally use the camera hole to uh, position my finger in the top. And the logic board should come out pretty easily. So, uh, as a side note, there's a little rubber piece that sits right up here on the logic board. It's loose. Uh, if this is not there when you reassemble it, your Wi Fi or your, well, probably just your Wi Fi uh, may not work. It's a gro it, it grounds it, so you're going to want to make sure you don't lose that little rubber piece. So, then we set the logic board aside. And now we've gotten to our speaker assembly. Uh, we only have one more screw holding it down. So we're going to remove that. Okay, so now we've gotten to the speaker assembly. And to pop that out, all you do is pretty much lift it out of the phone. Um, it's going to come off in a piece like this. Here's your antenna. It's held on by uh, two screws right here and a bit of adhesive. So if you're replacing the antenna, all you would do is unscrew these two screws and uh, the adhesive runs onto this side so you just pull it up. I'm not going to pull it up on this one because there's nothing wrong with it.